and I hereby declare to the Pokemon of the world, I will be a Pokemon Master! Pokemon Master! That is what I- What's up, Ginger Cornets? Do you guys remember when Ash won the Alola League, and then a bunch of people who probably didn't watch the show began putting out articles saying that Ash was finally a Pokemon Master? I mean, it was his dream since the first episode, so one would think winning a league might make it come true? But you know, he did that, and the show's still going, and Ash still insists that he wants to be a Pokemon Master. What constitutes a Pokemon Master is very vague, which Pokemon is basically confirmed was done on purpose. When will Ash finally be a Pokemon Master? Well, when they're finally ready to end the show. However, some new information from the series director may shine a new light on the situation. This info was shared recently in an interview from Annie Media Magazine, with a translation done by Twitter user at Moot Monthly. According to Pokemon Journeys director Jun Owada, 2021 was a year in which each of our heroes found a way to their specific goals. In 2022, I think the series will show what kind of path they will take, and what challenges they'll take on. Especially in Ash, there's a slight change in his feelings. A child who innocently said, I want to fight Leon, will come to understand what does that mean for me in his own way. I think it will also be a year for Go and Chloe to become more clearly aware of what they're going to achieve. Now, that last part about Go and Chloe, I think that was kind of a given. Chloe trying to figure out what she wants to do and make a goal for herself has already been a big plot point in the show. And of course, Go has been an ever-changing character, especially now with Project Mew. But that bit about Ash is pretty interesting. Now moving away from being a Pokemon Master, Ash's goal in Journeys is to become World Champion, or World Monarch in the dub. This of course means beating Leon, the current World Champion. Now if I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't expect much to happen regarding this goal. Like most people, I do think Ash will end up facing Leon in the World Championship Finals. Whether he wins or loses that battle, I don't know, I could really see it going either way. But I really did didn't expect much depth to come out of this goal. Like I mentioned earlier, I definitely expected the writers to play around with the goals of Go and Chloe, but not Ash. Because, well, he's Ash. No matter how you look at it, Ash's character just really isn't that complex, which was definitely done on purpose. It's why he went through a lot of emotional growth in the early seasons, but not much thereafter. The anime was originally only gonna last a year and a half, so they didn't expect to be writing such a long-term character. Once it was decided to become a long-running show, and that Ash would remain the main character throughout, they really weren't able to change him very much. Longtime Pokemon anime scriptwriter Takeshi Shudo even mentioned that he wanted Ash to be replaced, feeling that with each new generation, there should come a new protagonist, similar to how the Adventures manga does it. However, this of course did not happen. And this, along with other issues regarding a lack of creative control, led to Shudo leaving Pokemon entirely in 2002. But that's a topic for a whole nother video. One that, if you know the story, doesn't really have the best of endings. But let's get back to Ash. Throughout the series, he's definitely seen growth as a Pokemon trainer, as well as some low points, let's be honest. And he's even had some emotional growth as well, but most of this feels very connected with him maturing and getting older, as fun funny as that may seem. Stuff like Ash learning to not act cocky in Advanced Generation, or him learning to appreciate the more little things in X, Y, and Sun and Moon. However, the big stuff, such as Ash's goals and what he stands for, really hasn't changed since the first episode. The closest I can think of was his rivalry with Paul. Here, Ash really began to question his methods of training and whether they were really the best options. Though when he defeated Paul in the Sinnoh League, it was basically him proving to himself that he was right all along. And ultimately, I don't think this rivalry caused any long-term changes to his character. So then the question is, why do I think that could be happening now? Honestly, when I first saw the quote from Owada, I didn't think much of it. I certainly wasn't planning to make a video on it, but the more I thought, the more it intrigued me. Specifically the part where Ash will understand what wanting to fight Leon means to him. Now Ash's goal has pretty much always been a linear journey, if that makes sense. Sure, there's 
things like various leagues in the Battle Frontier, which were sort of steps Ash took to get there, but Ash never questioned what a league meant to him or why he was competing in it. It was always just another step of becoming a Pokemon Master. And going back to that quote, Ash being an innocent kid who just wants to fight Leon is pretty accurate to where he's at right now. Ash wants to beat Leon because, well, Leon's the strongest trainer in the world. But if he didn't have that title of world champion, Ash really wouldn't have much of an incentive to take him down. And let's face it, as a character, we really don't know Leon all that well. I mean, he's a nice guy and all, I don't think anyone really dislikes Leon, and he's certainly more fleshed out than he was in the Sword and Shield games, though that really isn't a high bar. But aside from Sonya's experience growing up with him, Leon is still a pretty mysterious character. In my last video, I talked about how the series producer said that in 2022, Leon's true face would be revealed, implying that we're definitely getting more more information on him, potentially even about his past and motivations. And that lines up pretty well with what we now know about him playing a role in Ash's emotional development. And frankly, when it comes to being a Pokemon Master, defeating the world champion and becoming literally the world's strongest trainer, yeah, I don't really see how you can top that. Except, maybe that's it. Maybe you can't top that. Even if he beat Leon, there's still no saying Ash would think of himself as a Pokemon Master. I mean, he he didn't when he won the Alola League, and this is why I think, given the information we now have, that Journeys will go into detail on what being a Pokemon Master truly means, not in an objective sense to the viewer, but specifically to Ash. And who better to help him realize that than the exact person he idolizes? It seems a lot of people have interpreted what Owada said as this being Ash's last series in the spotlight, which has definitely been a hot topic in discussion pretty much ever since Journeys began, or at least ever since Leon and the World Championships were introduced. But after thinking about it, I really don't think that's the case. Keep in mind, there was once a time where people thought Ash winning a league would basically guarantee the final episode, but of course that didn't happen. And while Ash changing up his goal and what it means to him, what being a Pokemon Master truly is has never happened before, well, the show's been going on for almost a quarter of a century, maybe it's about time. And a part of me does think that's ridiculous they wouldn't make such a drastic change to Ash's character, something that's been part of him since the very first episode. And yet, Pokemon Journeys is basically the leader in unpredictability. Sun and Moon certainly chipped away a bit at the Pokemon formula, but Journeys has basically ripped the band-aid straight off. Okay, that was a weird analogy. And maybe going further into future generations, the show will feel the need to start over, not with a reboot or a new protagonist, but rather, a whole new dream for Ash. But let me know, what do you guys think, and what do you want them to do, because really anything's on the table at this point. For all we know, they could, uh, permanently body swap Ash and Pikachu. That would be an interesting change to say the least. Okay, I think I need sleep. See you later, Gator Taters.